this is uh, I don't know if it's still a boarding house I'm not gonna go knock on the door and mess with anybody but right here you see those two windows I'll walk around you can possibly see the door the screens still there that room right there with those two windows I used to live in there let me tell you something about that room there's no fucking heat or air conditioning in there because <laughs> it used to be part of the porch as you can see from where the brick stops and that's where it starts it used to be part of the porch and they turned it into a room and by the fact that there's a sheet up there I'm gonna say it's still a boarding house and this house is experiencing something Apparently a truck hit this. Huh? No. Now nah, I used to live in that one. Oh, I thought you were facing this one up. Uh uh. <laughs> Somebody is. Yeah, I thought you had some work for me. <laughs> you ain't got no work for me, do you? No. Nah. Okay. Nope. And let's see. Mixing this up. Now look, what do you see up there? You see windows, you see one, two fans. So, I'm going to say chances of that being a boarding house are pretty high. Because you see the fans, and you see an air conditioning unit there. You see one up there. Now, there used to be a family that lived in there. Now, back in the day, the guy that owned this house, he told me what to pay for it. This was a long time ago. He paid like 18 grand for this house. And if it was restored, because it's been, you know, it's been split up, there's all kind of crazy stuff going on. But I would say the square footage of that house is about 4,800 square feet. So if it was like really fixed up, it's probably be like a half a million dollar house, even in this neighborhood, because it's so big and some of the unique features. But uh, yeah, I used to live in that bitch. Just uh, kind of go around. And it looks better than it used to. Let me say it again. And I'll, I'm going to get back in the vehicle and just drive around and show you. All right, so I'm going to just, like I said, this is an improvement. This is an improvement. I'm going to show you. That house looks nice. Someone got shot over there. Now, what's really interesting as a kid, I didn't grow up in any shit like this. I grew up poor, but my life didn't look nothing like this. Nothing. Uh, houses were well maintained. People cut their grass. They were poor, or you know, average income. But they had pride in the neighborhood. Let's see. And as you notice, there's a lot of boarded-up houses. And everyone's looking at me weird, and I've just figured out why. Because I'm driving this X5, and I'm looking at houses, so they think I'm an investor. So, because everybody's staring at me, that I walk, by looking like, because I don't fucking belong here. <laughs> I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, when I was moved over here, I was still working in the hospital for a few months, and. Well, actually not the hospital, still in the medical field. I was working for LabCorp. And because I had to shave, you know, I shaved and everything, people thought I was a cop. Used to get that all the time. It's like, oh, you the popo. And then and people walk up to me. Wow. A lot of these houses are, um, oh, they fixed that one up. That's actually, uh, they're in the process of fixing that up. You see now, you know, a lot of people are uh, talking about the economy and money is out here again. 
I am seeing like my neighborhood houses are staying on the market 30 days if that long people are dumping shit remember I said in the video about you know people not tr uh, dropping trash in their neighborhood that's not exactly the case over here oh that apartment used to be some oh uh, you can't see damn like I said I have not been over here in this capacity in a long time but a lot of stuff's changed let's see used to be a lot of craziness in this house A lot of craziness on this side. A lot of these places are boarding houses again. There's a there's a high degree of vacancy around here. Extremely high. this place I don't know if you can see yeah right there that yellow place I remember when the guy bought it because it it was like it was a burnout it didn't even have a ceiling on it and I remember when they came in and fixed that and turned it into I think four or five apartments now he got it dirt cheap because I think at the time I think he got it for like six or seven thousand bucks I see five power meters so it's five apartments he probably spent maybe 20 grand total and it's a long time ago so he ain't making nothing but money I am amazed at how many houses are freaking gone burn out that house is gone huh well yeah this is what I fell into now understand this looks better <laughs> than it used to this is better now I want you to think of a Suarez of a war zone. That's what this place used to look like. And it was weird because there would be like this really nice house. Then there would be madness. And it, it was just strange. Now for some people like that shit ain't that bad. Because you know you're living in some bullshit right now. So it ain't that bad to you. But for me, you know, going from being poor to you know, pretty good job, making decent money to fall into this shit that was worse than the neighborhood that I grew up in. It was a mind fuck. Now, I think what the people that live here, like if you're coming from New York or you coming from Chicago, this is a come up. Sad to say, but true. But for someone who had never had to deal with this shit, it is depressing and fuck. But kind of goes back to what I was talking about, you know, experiences. Um, that's enough touring of the uh, this boy because it really hasn't changed you know it's cleaned up a little bit wow yeah swear to god I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me Whoa. Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding man? Yeah, 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 yeah Whoa. Yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me Whoa. Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding man? Yeah, 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 yeah they gon' put me all in the mad with all that mad game you been talking. Oh, yeah, man, that's awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show me this plan that you brought me and this cash you ain't mentioned yet, dog. I'm done with all that talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't do pay to play. I get paid to play. And since you're playing games to get paid for me, man, swear to God, I'm walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I seen the type before about a hundred times Trying to undermine my abilities to be killing anything I target Yeah, yeah, you wanna be a boss with them reins? That power don't come cheap All my life I've been moving them chains and Now you wanna love me? I said the way you think You're all about you, 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 you And that's cool, you do you But me, I've been doing my own thing I swear to God 
be killing everybody, tell me if you wanna get involved uh, Lyric or Aurora that is aiming at the center of your thoughts Yeah, they tell me everybody in my city that I'm finally love my songs Cool shit, saying pretty please with a cherry on top is a cool way Whoa, whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it Like me, whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 whoa Yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it Like me, whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah I don't see a reason they should be hating the way that I'm making a way they don't see all of the stress and the problems I deal with like every day uh, Envy will kill you and misery loves all the company that it can get uh, To even the odds I wish I lived in all my life but I'm in love with this shit Boy I came out like a bull and I look like a took but I came for it. Everybody wanna aim for it. the head of a veteran They may let him apparently angry that I have settled in screaming Don't nobody let them get ahead of me Independent rappers gonna make it to celebrity alone They don't ever get a throne, never leave it home You didn't even have a million views and they're headed in alone I said huh? Don't even see the bigger picture, look behind me, see the army full of kings That is men and mafia, the thing that is me and me alone You at least see my bros, I don't never miss a beat I kill everything I'm on, every video I shot my homies who don't even know If I ain't the greatest rapper, then I swear I'm getting close If you really think I need you, all I gotta say is <laughs> Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it Like me, whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, swear to God, I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. It's quite go get it like me. Wow.